What is going on guys? We have had a weekend filled with Ashes of Creation's Alpha 2 fun and I want to really break down my first impressions with you. So starting off because you guys keep asking me, I played a mage archetype going into this. Mage has been my go-to archetype and I really enjoy how the mage feels especially when you get into the later level skill trees. It, I just I really like it. The damage again as I've said in the past I'd like it a little boosted up a bit but overall it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. But so we jumped in and our goal for this weekend was hit level 10 get richie mayor so obviously there's server issues that plagued across the realms of vera and people were crashing you couldn't get in the queue all that i was lucky i got in like right when the servers went live and i got in and i ran out of lion hold and i survived the majority of the crashes yeah that was that was pretty good so it was uh we got pretty lucky a lot of genesis got in the guild that i'm in and we ended up grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding for hours to get that level 10 which worked pretty well and actually we found out that raid groups do not have really a xp dampener on them so you can really form pretty big raids and go into areas much higher level than you are and burn down these creatures. So that's basically what we did and just grinded that XP. So we got to about level nine and server crashed and it was like one in the morning. So I went to bed. Apparently those servers came back up and then Genesis kept pushing. So Rive ended up getting mayor of Winstead. So I know he's been working on some videos that should, I would imagine be up at some point. So like go check out Rive's videos. He's got a flying mount. He's been flying all over Vera. It's pretty cool to see. So make sure you go check that out. Um, and that was day one that was the gist of day one day two i took a different approach and i grouped up with vladis rorier and we played with those guys and we uh just same thing we just found different grinding spots but we also just kind of screwed around and had some fun which i mean you got to do it's an alpha so like nothing nothing's going to be set in stone so having fun i think is the biggest point going into this you don't want to just grind and grind and grind the entire three days i get why people want to do that but it's like you might get wiped next week so go out explore have fun and play around in the game and i think that's the best way you can do it but so we did that we went to colossal crater killed the guys went to the church of seven stars and farmed those guys for a while got into a few pvp skirmishes up there apparently as a tank you can chain pull friendly targets and have them stuck to you so we brought a friend with us for a few minutes and it was kind of hilarious stark oh i really want to kill him Is that go stark yeah let's go stark turn <laughs> are you gonna do it <laughs> <laughs> Make sure your flag you roar. Did, you did you go turn it in, uh, Wagazi? Look at it. Look at it, man. I, I chained him and he stuck to me like a mob. Oh my god. Oh, get away. No. <laughs> You got oh, your, own, your own pet Stark. There's no fucking way this is happening right now. <laughs> you get 110 glint, too. Oops, someone better make a video of this. Dude. He chained him with... <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. He's going wherever we tell him he's going to go. Ask, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, my stop, God. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, wait, he got, did he get free? No, he can't get yeah. free. Oh, there's a vendor here. Beyond that, after that, we went to Darigal States and we farmed some flower guys. And then the servers were coming down at the end of the night and the servers were going to be down. So we decided we we're going to head to the tropics and we headed to the tropics. There was a caravan on the way. We attacked that caravan. We failed at attacking that caravan because they were, I guess, right at the turning point. And I guess when you get to a turning point, the caravan is just go poof right now, which is a very odd thing, but really kind of threw us off. But then we went to the tropics. We PVP each other and that was it.
Day three for Sunday. Well, as you all know, Intrepid got the DDoS attacks, and unfortunately, most people were not able to play for the majority of the day. I was lucky enough to get in before those attacks, and I got about four hours in that I ran around crafting and just gathering things and all that stuff until my game crashed and then I couldn't get back in. Which is unfortunate. It's it's sad that people do that stuff. And I mean, I'm sure Intrepid is it's gonna help them in some unfortunate way learn and figure out how to better defend these things in the future, but it still sucks to see. But overall, I am having a blast playing Alpha 2. I think it is, again, it is an Alpha. It is a very raw state that's not content complete, but going in there and playing with friends and playing with the guild has been a very good time and just messing around and seeing the world and progressing through this. And I ended up hitting level 11 in this last test. I'm pretty, I was like halfway to 12. It's been a very, it's been fun. I've really enjoyed it. Um, A few things to note, I think combat, I think combat feels really good. Tab targeting, I like it, especially for this early alpha state. I, I know a lot of people don't like tab targeting, but I mean, it's it really is a tab target game. The action camera, in my opinion, sucks. The action camera isn't really worth using. The soft lock is a little janky and doesn't seem to work half the time, or I'm just haven't figured it out. I think tab turret's the way to go, and I think it feels good. As I've said before, team up in groups. Groups are the biggest thing. Obviously, this is not the content portion of Alpha 2. This is meant for stability and server performance, and the content stuff is going to come more in Phase 2. So I can't wait to see how that builds up and see how much of this world gets filled up and how much there actually is to do outside of just grinding. I've said before, and I'm hoping Trevor's heard this feedback. I'm going to make a forum post about it at some point, but commission XP and quest XP is terrible and they're not worth doing. Even just going out and exploring, like I'm just, I'm not doing these commissions. I did some node work orders because those help the nodes and you get node currency for them, which you can buy gear for. And that's a little bit more rewarding to me than like the basic commissions that reward gold and very little XP, just sending you out in the world to kill things. So hopefully we see those bumped up a little bit or more polished down the road that have better rewards to make them worth doing, I guess is the way to say. And I imagine they'll be more locked in once, you know, more of the systems come on line and you have story arcs and you have events and you have these commissions that lead you into these story arcs and events i think that's really when they're gonna shine a bit more than they do now uh crafting crafting is an absolute friggin' drag i mean i enjoy it i'm having fun running around gathering but there is so much to crafting and you really need multiple people to do it efficiently you need a guild or you need friends and you need to divide up all right these are the professions we're doing this is what i'm gonna do i spend most of the day on sunday during the ddos attacks crafting because none of my friends could get in and we were going to try to do a caravan run we might try that later hopefully if the servers come back up but we will have to wait and see but yeah i mean i'm having a blast i can't wait to see how this alpha progresses and november 8th when they bring in even more players into the world like the world's already feel full it's very nice to step into this world and see players running around they're not separated by grids or servers every person in this server is visible if you are near them and it's a really nice feeling and it gives you that more of that old school feeling that we don't really get necessarily with MMO stay. And I think Intrepid is very much on the right track with this build. Obviously, there are the concerns that, well, it's been eight years and all that. Well, I mean, yeah, it's been a long time, but it I think we're going to start to see things speed up once they get these servers stable. And I really hope that that content really just starts to flow in because I mean, the phase two roadmap's no joke. It's like, it's the majority of the desert biome bringing on quests and story arcs and commissions within those zones, along with the tropics. They're going to bring in basically two biomes worth of content in phase two. They're going to bring in two additional biomes along with naval content in phase three, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. So I think really this is just the beginning. And once we hit December, things are really going to start to feel good and things are really going to start to come together as we see this MMO that we've all been waiting to play for years now come to life and I, I can't wait for it. It's going to be so good and I hope you guys who were testing, you got in, you enjoyed it, you had a lot of fun. I know, again, I, as I've said, I have had a blast even amid all the server issues, which I mean, they were expected. I mean, I've been saying for weeks now that I don't think these servers are going to hold up and honestly, they held up so much better than I imagined they were going to with this many people. Yes, a lot of people did not get in on that first day, unfortunately, because that there's that lion hold bottleneck, but the people who did, the world felt good. Once you got out of that starting area and you spread out, it felt good. It felt like things were coming together and Intrepid brought up the PTR on Saturday. They pushed a build up to it. They figured out what's causing these performance issues, these server issues, and they're about to push that build out until they had these DDoS attacks. So I imagine that'll come up 
at some point tonight after I record this video, or maybe they even extend the test for another day because of all this is happening, but we will have to wait and find out. If you've been playing, let me know your comments down below. What are your first thoughts? Are you enjoying it? Is it not what you expected? Let me know all of that stuff. I can't wait to make more videos surrounding Alpha 2. I've got a lot of stuff planned, and I mean, I've got a lot of fun shorts too that I'm gonna upload to the channel. Jump in and let me know, even if you didn't play it or you're about to play on November 8th. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I will try to answer as many as I can as I have been doing over this past week. And I am very, I am, I mean, honestly, I'm hyped. Like, I really wish I could get back in the game right now, but these servers aren't working, unfortunately. But it is what it is. And Shepard's working really hard to fix that. And hopefully they get a solution real soon. But yeah, drop those comments down below and make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for a lot more to come.